Debbie Gavlin here. So excited that you're joining me. Today we have a soulful vinyasa flow. So what that means is going to be a very breath centric, moving around, of course, the front back, but staying in connection with the breath. And like a lot of you, I like the strong power flows that make me do all kinds of crazy things, like taking my leg behind my head, getting my shoulder under my thigh, all that good stuff. But I also really love at least once a week to take a really soulful flow that really helps me connect with my breath, to feel my body in ways when you're moving into like a sculpt class or something that you don't take the time to do. So for your practice today, you really don't need anything unless you choose. Feel free to grab some blocks. I have them by the top of my mat. Feel free to have them by yours. They're always just a good thing to have because you never know. You might need them, you might not, and they're just blocks. It's no big deal. They just always help you find a little bit more space and lift and create muscle memory so you can actually go deeper into the pose. So they're a wonderful tool. If you are playing music along with me, feel free to join me on Spotify. Again, Debbie Gallin, and that's Debbie with a Y. Debbie Gallin Vinyasa. We're going to use playlist 4 to 2020. So again, it's 4 to 2020 on Spotify. And with that, let's get started with our practice. Thanks so much for joining me. All you need to do is bring your energy, bring your smile. That's all you need. Whatever you do, you do. Whatever you don't, you don't. So let's get set up, find your music, and we're all going to join together in child's pose. So walk yourself more to the center of the mat and open your knees as wide as you're comfortable with right now. Slide the big toes to touch. And just take a moment. Start to move into the hips, the shoulders. Kind of wiggle yourself down to the ground, bring your hips to your heels. And slowly bring your forehead to the mat. And just relax. So your forearms are on the ground. And feel all those places on your body where you connect with the mat or ground. So really allow yourself to melt down. Get rid of tension in your shoulders, and your jaw, your brow. And feel where the tops of the feet, your shins, your knees connect with the mat. And then bring awareness into your elbows, your forearms, the palm of your hands. Maybe you notice how your fingertips slightly touch your mat. And bring focus to your mind's eye. And maybe you see an indigo blue light, maybe you see an eye in your mind. This is your sixth sense, your sixth chakra. Invite your third eye to open, to see more clearly, to invite wisdom. Start to gently rock your head side to side. Just get rid of any tension, any stress that you're holding on to. Some days it's little, some days it's a lot. Just notice what you notice as you start to move side to side. And once you feel more relaxed, you can deepen the pose. And for me, open, that means opening my knees wider, trying to extend my hips all the way back to my heels. And slowly bring your thumbs, your index fingers to touch. And just start to create that mindful awareness with the breath. You might feel a little ragged, jagged. I know mine does. But keep your focus there. And just invite the rough edges to smooth away. Soften your shoulders just a little bit more. Maybe slide your head forward. Begin to draw the breath down into your heart, into your lungs. Drawing it into your ribs, your diaphragm. Maybe you can pull it down into your belly or your tailbone. Just each and every time you inhale and exhale, make it a little bit deeper. And see if you can pull your breath a little bit further down inside. You know when you find that spot, it's almost magical. You have that correct connection with your body, the connection with the energy that's within you, around you. And 
Start to activate your pose by walking your hands forward. Spreading out the fingers, pressing down the palms. Draw your arms behind your so the biceps roll to the sky. Use that energy to find even more length of the spine. So see if you can stretch your head forward and feel the tailbone grow longer. And then start to press and sink your armpits down towards the ground. But still hugging your arms in so there's tension in this pose. And you begin to build heat. Now scoop up your belly. Inhale, tabletop. Hands on your shoulders, knees under your hips, and allow your body to freely move. Ah. Walk your hands on your shoulders, start to push into the palms, the knees, the shins, look straight ahead, past the top of your mat. Inhale, pat, chin to your chest, hollow out your belly as you press. Exhale, keep the belly engaged as you open up into your cow pose. Inhale, pat, chin to your chest, hollow out. Exhale, cow. Slowly inhale, pat. Exhale, cow. Inhale to a neutral spine. Hug your arms and legs together. Slowly extend your right leg long behind you. Just press back. Open up the hip space. Try to touch your toes to the wall behind you. And then draw the hip into the socket. Hug your arms to your thighs. Turn your toes down and face the mat. And for me, it's always best if I look under because I think I'm square, but my toes are turned out to the side. That's just the way my body works. Now keep hugging your arms. So when the toes face down, that's a sign your hips are square. I want you to take your left hand, slowly bring it to the small of your back. And press your tailbone into the palm as you roll the shoulder open. So keep your gaze straight ahead. So press the tailbone, press your right hip into the hand so you can get even longer. So it's almost as though you're bursting the heart forward. Then slowly bend your right knee. You can hang out here and just work on that press. So reach your hand behind you, find the top of the foot, and start to press into your hand and roll open. Ah, now lift your knee, your thigh, just a little bit higher. And as you exhale, release the hand, let your leg go long. Ah. Now inhale, hug your arms, your inner thighs, look ahead. Exhale, pull your knee all the way towards you and step it through. Slide your left leg back. Inhale, pull up and place your hands on your thighs so you start to open your heart a little bit wider. And as you exhale, sink into your hips. Let your head fall back. Ah, and the shoulders glide down. Push your hips forward. Oh, feel that big stretch across your psoas, your hip flexors, that front of the hip that connects your pelvis to, your, to the top of your thigh. Breathe in. Exhale. Release your hands down and go, ah. So now, curl your toes under. Step back into a downward facing dog. We're going to take everything a little bit deeper. So walk your feet up so your feet can be fully flat on that. So you're in a skinny downward facing dog is really where I want you to be. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Now slowly extend your right leg to the sky. Now keep hugging your arms together and shift your weight over to your right palm. In other words, you have to press down into the palms and pull your, kind of your bicep in by your ear. Find a scorpion, bend the knee and flex the foot. And keep pulling your right tricep, bicep into your ear. Now you can hang out here or you can lift your left hand, kind of walk it back towards you. Maybe this is where you stay, but maybe you can reach that hand up. Try to find the top of the foot, the ankle. Pull that heel towards you by bending the elbow. Now the left elbow bends, but the right arm stays strong. Press back a little bit more, and then start to lift your knee and chin higher, no matter where you happen to be. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release it down as slowly as you can. Sometimes it feels like a boomerang, right? And drop your knees to the mat once again, tabletop. Hug your arms, your inner thighs together so you're nice and long. Inhale into a cat, bring your chin to your chest, hollow out your belly. Exhale, cow, look up our forward. And remember, belly's engaged. Inhale, cat, chin your chest, hollow out. Exhale, cow. Once again, inhale, just feel your breath. 
Let it fill you up. And exhale, cow. Ah. Hug your arms, your thighs. And slowly extend your left leg back. And just reach your toes all the way to the wall behind you. So you've got that big stretch in the wing. It's like you're pressing to the back of your mat. And then we're squared up by hugging your arms, your inner thighs, pulling that left hip into the socket. Now turn your toes down to the mat. And if you're like me, look behind you. Make sure your toes are facing down. Mine are not. Mine are out to the side. So I've got to really work to pull them down and under so my hips are square. Keep hugging your arms, your inner thighs. Look ahead. Now you have every option to stay here, but what I really would like you to do is take your right hand to the small of your back. Press your tailbone and your left hip into your hand and kind of roll the shoulder open. And try to keep your toes facing down. So this is not an easy place to be. You've got to really hug everything in and keep your gaze forward. Now you can hang out right here, but you can also bend the knee. Pull that heel to your hip, right to your right hand behind you. Pull the heel towards you, and then roll open. Ah. Now lift your knee, your shin higher. Keep pressing the foot into the hand. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release the arm, release the leg behind you. As you exhale, pull your knee all the way up towards you and then step through. Slide your right knee, top the foot back, place your hands on your thigh, and as you inhale, lift up. So drop the shoulders, but open your heart as you press your hips forward. Ah, just feel that stretch across your hip flexor, your psoas, right at that front. Connecting your pelvis to your thigh. Just sink into it a little bit more. Open up, let your head fall back. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release your hands down. Coming into that little lunge by curling the toes, lifting the knee. Step back, downward facing dog. Ah. Walk your feet up so your feet are nice and flat. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. So make sure you're comfy here, your skinny downward facing dog. And then slowly inhale your left leg up. Exhale, boat open into your scorpion. So let the left shoulder pull down. Hug your arms, hug your inner thighs as you lift the knee and the shin. Now you have every option to hate. Stay here, but you can lift your right hand up and kind of walk it back towards you, see how you feel. Keep pressing into the left hand. And then maybe you can reach your right hand behind you. Find the top of the foot, the ankle, the shin, whatever you got. And as you bend the right elbow, pull that foot towards you, let the left arm go longer. Now, wherever you happen to be, lift the knee, the shin even higher. So you're working on balance right away, engaging your core. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, release the hand, release the foot. Ah. Bend your knees, walk your hands towards your feet. Just find your rag out for a few breaths. Let your head hang heavy. And just feel all that space you've created with your breath. Now place your hands on the tops of your feet as you draw your chin to your chest. Inhale, roll that slow. Exhale, shrug your shoulders open. Ah, I want you to root down. Press your palms back as you open your heart space. Now pull your hips forward. Get as long as you can possibly be. Inhale, arms to the sky, draw everything around you. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk it into your plank pose, Dandasana. Inhale, look forward, hinge forward, shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, low plank, nice and easy. Elbows by your side, feel free to come to your knees. Inhale, upward facing dog, and pause. Hug your arms, your inner thighs to lift the heart space. Exhale, downward facing dog, pull it back. Inhale, high and ball feet, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasa, arms reach to the sky. Exhale, back bend, cactus pose. Ah. Inhale, lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plank, hands on the mat, step back. Inhale, look forward, getting your tailbone on the top at the same time. Exhale, look with control. Push your heels away. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, press. 
Hollow out your belly as you pull back. Inhale, high in the balls, feet, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, four fold, release. Let it all go. Inhale, Tadasana, arms through to the sky. Exhale, back one, cactus pose. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, four fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga, Dandasana. Exhale, as you melt back. Hollowing out your belly as you pull. Let your tailbone reach to the sky. Kind of sink your armpits down. Not hyperextending, but just so you can feel that press. Drawing your chest closer to your thighs. Inhale, high in the balls, feet, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tanasa, arms sweep to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart space, sum with feet to heat, and take a moment here. Shrug your shoulders open. Shift your weight to your right foot and bend your left knee. Open up to a kickstand tree. Just take a moment here. Bear down into your right foot, get a little taller, and then press the knee wider. Stay here, slide the foot up the calf or wherever you can reach without using your hands. Keep pressing your palms. Inhale, arms go straight to the sky if you choose. Pull your arms behind your ears, and exhale, open your arms wide, lift your heart space. So press your foot into the leg, press your leg into the foot. That subtle action will keep you lifted. Bring your arms back to the sky in prayer. Exhale, release it all the way down. Ah, nice and easy. Shrug your shoulders open, spread out your fingers and toes, and shift it to the left. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, kick stand tree, pause here for a moment. So you can find length for your left leg, so you can open your right knee wider. Stay here, slide the foot up the calf or the inner thigh, whatever you can do without using your hands. Now keep pressing your palms, lift up a little bit more. Stay here, inhale, arms to the sky in prayer. Pause here and bring your arms behind your ears, start to lift up. Maybe open your arms wide so you come into that back bend. Press your foot into the thigh or your calf. Press the leg right back into your foot. That subtle action is going to help you lift. Inhale, arms back to the sky. Hands to prayer. Exhale, release it all the way down. Ah. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, swan back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, shatter on the dundas and flow right along with your breath. Exhale, as you press back, take a moment to hollow out your belly, to draw your arms in closer, even your inner thighs, but push your heels out just a touch. Inhale, right leg extends, find your three-legged like dog, that big press. Exhale, step through, low lunge by your thumb. Drop your back, and the top of the foot comes on down, slide it away. Inhale, arms to the sky, hands to prayer. Exhale, gentle back bend. Press your hips forward as you draw your arms behind your ears. You open up nice and wide. Breathe in. Exhale, hands down, frame your foot. Coming into a low lunge, press the back edge. Pick the edge of your left foot to mat. Next turn your left hand straight ahead. Now anchor the shoulder into the socket and do the same thing with your right hand. Anchor the shoulders into the socket. Look past your fingertips. Inhale, warrior one, that slow rise. Tailbone down. Exhale, warrior two, open. Inhale, reverse into your peaceful warrior. Nice and slow, that big reach and stretch through both sides of your body. Exhale, shatter on the dasana, flowing right along with your breath. Exhale, as you melt yourself back, draw your nails to the spine, and then inhale, extend your left leg up. Keep pressing back, get a little longer. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Drop your back knee, top of foot, slide it away. Inhale, arms to the sky, press and move. Bring your hands to prayer, exhale. Find that gentle back bend. So the shoulders slide down as the hips press forward, opening your heart space to the sky. 
Exhale, hands down, frame your foot. Curl your toes to lift your knee. Now flatten your back foot down, really press into the outer edge. Extend your right hand out like you're shaking someone's hand, and then anchor the right shoulder into the socket. Do the same thing with your left hand. And again, pull the shoulders in the socket, look past your fingertips. Inhale, warrior you on that lift, dropping the tailbone, still pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. Exhale, warrior two. Just gaze past your hand. Inhale, reverse into peaceful warrior. Feel that big reach and sweep, opening up both sides of your body. Exhale, shatter on the dumbass and just flow right along with your breath, no rush. Exhale as you melt yourself back. Inhale, high in the balls of the bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Tadasana, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Shift your weight over to your right foot. Inhale, bend the left knee and open up to that kickstand tree. Get a little taller. Slide the foot up the calf or if you choose. Use your hand or not to bring that foot up the hip crease. Hands to the heart space. Now press your foot into the thigh or your calf, wherever it happens to be. Press your leg right back in so you're square. Now left knee goes back just a touch more. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, we fly over, look up. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, flow over to the right. Inhale up, keep pressing the leg into the foot. And exhale, flow over other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to heart, but come into a single leg as fast. So, so press the palms. Draw the navel in as you lift the knee up. Take a deep breath. Exhale, extend your leg back, warrior three. So nice and slow, the toe can tap down if you need. Press your palms in, hinge. Then start to lengthen your right leg, push them out of the way. Exhale, step back, low lunge. Flatten your back foot down and extend your hands out into a steeple grip. So press your palms, your forearms together. And start to reach forward with your left hand, just a little bit more, and the hips going to follow. Inhale, rise on the arms by your wrist. Exhale, into a gentle back bend. So keep the lift of the belly as you find that extension. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Ah. Inhale, reverse your warrior all the way up and back. Exhale, shadow on the dumbass and just find your breath. Ah. Taking your time with every movement, with every pose. So you can enjoy all that space that you're creating with your body. Inhale, high in the ball seat, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, chin to your breastbone. Inhale, to that arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Press, shift your weight to the left and inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, open up to that kickstand tree. Let the left leg roll on. Stay here, slide the foot of the calf, up the inner thigh. Feel free to use your hand this time to make any adjustments you need. Remember, as you push the foot into the leg, the leg goes right back into the foot. Inhale, arms to the sky. Just reach up in prayer. Exhale, let your arms fly open. Ah, open your heart wide. Inhale, lift the arms up by your ears. Exhale, blow over to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, blow over to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to your heart space and pull your right knee to center. Single legged Tadasa. Press your palms, firm up your left leg. Ooh, I had to touch down there for a moment. Now slowly extend that right leg behind you. Coming into your warrior three, you can tap down as you need. Ooh, I had to pivot there. Press your palms. Notice how that front knee softens, but I want you to press your palms and let that left leg roll long. Firm it up. Exhale, step it back into a low lunge. Then flatten your foot down. Inhale, extend your arms out to a steeple grip. Pull your arms in by your ears and reach forward with your right arm just a little bit further, just so you can square up your hips. Inhale, lift up to the sky. 
Pull up from the low belly. Exhale, find some extension coming into a back bend. Keep your arms by your ears. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, warrior two. Ah. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reverse into peaceful. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana. Just flow right along with your breath. Take a moment, press back, hollow out your belly. Inhale, high in the balls of the feet, bend your knees. Exhale, walk, step, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, four fold. Bring your chin to your breast and really allow yourself to fold in two. Inhale, chair pose, Uttanasana. Bend the knees, sweep your arms up by your ears. Exhale, sit on back. Inhale, lift right up into a tree, kickstand, cap onto the foot onto the calf or all the way up into your hip crease. Now, I just want you to reach and lift. Start to push that knee open wider and press your right leg into the foot wherever it happens to be. Now, interlace your fingers to the webbing behind the base of your skull. Inhale, open the elbows, lift the heart space. And as you lift your heart, I want you to pull your left hip forward but press the left thigh back. Now extend your arms behind you in a steeple grip, if you can. Inhale, lift up and pull the left knee along with you. So you're in that single leg tabasana. Exhale, find a warrior three. Hinge, pull your arms by your ears as you extend. Now draw the left hip forward as you firm up your right leg. Inhale, come into a crescent. And then exhale, flatten your back foot as you sweep your arms behind you. Ah. Inhale, lift the forearms, lift the chest, open up. Exhale, humble hand forward. Bring your right shoulder to the inside of the knee. Chin to your breastbone. Now push your knuckles up as you bring your left hip forward even more. Start to squeeze your inner thighs towards one another. Inhale, warrior one, that slow rise up, arms by your ears. Exhale, warrior two. Ah. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, side angle pose. Now push down to lift up. Bring your chin over your shoulder. Circle your arm all the way around. Inhale, into a star pose. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior, big sweep. Exhale, chaturanga, dandasana, just flow right along with your breath. Exhale, as you melt back, pulling your chest all the way to your thighs, hollow out of your belly. Inhale, left leg extends. Exhale, I want you to step through. Bring your right foot up to join. Inhale, lift. Exhale, as you fold, chin to your breastbone, hug it tight. Inhale, chair pose, you can toss them. Exhale, sit on back. Bear down into your left foot. Inhale, pull up into your tree, kickstand, cap, or take your hand, bring it all the way into the hip crease. Take a moment, firm it up, press the leg into the foot, the foot into the leg, and then analyze your fingers and take your hands behind your head. Now inhale, open your elbows, lift your heart space. Keep pressing the leg into the foot. Now extend your arms back, find a steeple grip, pause. And as you push your right hip forward, draw the right inner thigh back. Inhale, come on up, single leg is awesome. Ah. Exhale, find your warrior three, slow extension. Hinging from your hips, pulling your arms by your ears. I want you to firm up your left leg. Inhale, into a crescent. Pause. Exhale, flatten your back foot. Sweep your hands behind you. Inhale, feel the deeper back bend. Exhale, humble warrior, hinge forward. Bring your shoulder to the inside of the knee. Draw your chin to your breastbone. Now push your knuckles to the sky as you bring your right hip to the top of the mat and hug your inner thighs together. So in other words, we're trying to have both hips face the same direction. 
Release your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, side angle pose. Now bear down to lift up through the hips, the ribs, the shoulder, even your gaze. Then sweep your right arm over. Inhale, rise up into a star. Ooh. Exhale, goddess, just one time. Release your energy. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, way to top of your mountain. Inhale, reverse, take it up the back. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana, flow with your breath. Press back. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, step outside your right hand. Step your left foot up outside your left hand. Find yourself in your frog pose. Hands to your heart space. So draw your thumbs to your breastbone. Feel that lift through the top of your head. Now lean back with your chest, push forward with your hips. And at the same time, you're creating resistance by pressing out with your elbows, pushing in with your thighs. That subtle action is going to make you lift. So you can follow me, press out and hug in. It's a simple lift. It just happens all on its own without you even trying. So keep leaning back as you press your tailbone forward. Then release your right hand down, inner archer in front of the foot. Flatten your hands. You can be on your fingertips and inhale. Left hand to the sky. Just reach it up. And as you lift, feel the table and rise. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Now inhale, lean back and press the arms and thighs, the thighs into the arms. Exhale, your left hand down, palms, fingertips, whatever you can reach. Inhale, right arm lifts. Let your gaze follow your hand. The tailbone rises up. Exhale, hands to your heart space. Now walk your feet in just a little bit closer. Sit on back. Inhale, go top. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, take a half bind. So sweep that left forearm behind you. Work your hand around your hip crease. Most of us want to move forward here, and that's fine as you get that adjustment. But then roll the shoulder open and sit back into your heels. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, draw your hands back to your heart. And then inhale, open. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right on the sky. Let your gaze follow your hands. Exhale, half fine. So sweep your right forearm behind you. Work your hand around your hip crease. It's okay to wiggle yourself in there. Sometimes I've got to do that. And as you lean forward, no, uh-uh. Inhale, open it up. Sit back into your heels and take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, hands down and inhale as you lift. Woo-hoo. Now you can come on down to your knees. You can make your way to a crow, kakasana. So hands flat on the mat, shoulder distance apart. Feet are about 8 to 10 inches, maybe 12 inches behind you. Start to hug your elbows in and bring your knees into your armpits just so you can have a little shelf. I'll turn to the side so you can see me a little bit more. So it's okay if your knees slide down to your triceps. That's what's going to happen. Your arms are going to make a little shelf here. But you want to make sure you're hugging everything in. Instead of looking down, look ahead because wherever you look, the body is going to follow. Maybe you can lift up one toe, maybe two. Maybe you can get those big toes to touch and lengthen. Hollow your belly, lift your tail on higher and breathe in. Exhale, we're just going to release it down. Ah. So crow can easily come into crane. And the difference between the two of those, crow, elbows bent, crane, think of the bird, arms long, so no bent to the elbows. So they're pretty close, so you can work on going from one to the other to see how it feels. Of course, crane is a lot harder. I want you to grab a quick drink. Have a seat. Plant your feet on the mat, extend your arms and just roll it down. Bring the soles of your feet to touch. One hand over your heart, one hand over your low belly, and then drop your chin towards your breastbone. I just want you to feel the cycle, the energy of your breath. Dropping your chin so your spine unravels and you can sink into your mat. So I really want you to root and ground down here to feel your energy, to feel your presence. And just be mindful of your breath. Feeling your belly rise and fall underneath your hands. Just 
take a moment here to remember why you step onto your mat in the first place. As I always maintain, if this was just a physical form of exercise, this would have been a fad that passed a long time ago. But practicing yoga is so much more, especially when we're mindful of our breath. It works our physical body, but it also connects us with our mind, our heart, our soul, our whole entire being. Just allow that energy to flow. Maybe a smile plays across your face. Then slowly extend your arms over your ears, legs go long, giving yourself that good morning stretch. We've got one more flow, everybody. Wiggle the hips, wiggle the shoulders. Circling your arms around, pull your knees towards you, give yourself a hug. Ah. Cross your ankles, rock yourself up as you press back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to paddle the knees, to move the hips, to move the shoulders. Now walk your feet up so your feet can be nice and flat. So remember what we did right in the beginning? We're going to build onto that. So hug your arms, your inner thighs. Pull your navel on tight. I want you to take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Oops, let's change that. Inside of your left foot. I'll be easier to start. We're going to start easy. So hug your arms, your inner thighs, and inhale. Extend your right leg to the sky. Now bend your left elbow and press back. So your right arm stays strong. You're lifting that right heel to the sky, drawing your chest even closer to the left leg. Take a deep breath. Exhale. I want you to bring it all the way down. Ah. Take a moment. Roll it open. Breathe in. Exhale. Slide your right hand back. Hug your arms and your thighs. Inhale. Extend your left leg to the sky. Keep hugging tight and then bend your right elbow. Using that to pull your chest towards your thigh. Using your left hand, let your arm lengthen. So the left arm is long, the right elbow is bent, and pull your chest even closer to your thigh. Exhale, release it all the way down. Ah. Take a moment here, make sure your feet are nice and flat, hollow out your belly. All right, take a deep breath. Now exhale, bring your right hand, yes, the right hand, the same one we just used this time, take it outside your left foot. I'm going to walk my feet up a little closer. This is why I have the morning arm stance, because you want to be firm here. Now you're going to shift your weight slightly over to the left, but keep the left shoulder pulled into the socket because it wants to creep up by your ear. And then slowly extend your right leg to the sky. It's okay if that toe taps down. Bend your right elbow, draw your chest closer to your thighs. You push the mat away with your left leg. Ah. Keep squeezing your shoulders down your back and maybe lift that back heel even higher. Breathe in. Exhale, release the hand, release the foot. Ah. All right. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Take that left hand outside of your right foot. Hug your arms, your inner thighs. Make sure the shoulders anchored into the socket. Right shoulders anchored into the socket. Feel free to adjust your stance, shorten up if you need. Shift your weight to your right side. So you lift the left leg. It's okay if you've got a tap down. But if you can, bend the left elbow, pull your chest closer to your thighs. Now extend your right arm, but keep your shoulder away from your ear. See if you can lift that back heel up even higher, hollowing your belly as you do. Look down your nose, just feel that stretch. Really challenging your balance, your core in a different way. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hand, release your foot. Ah. Inhale, high the balls and you bend the knees. Exhale, you've got a tiny little move to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, just let it all go. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, Tadasana with hands at your heart space and draw your left knee up. <sighs> now, I want you to slowly take that leg out to the side. Press your palms. Firm up your right leg and lift your left knee higher. Now extend your leg all the way out. Push to the heel and start to sweep it around you. Coming into that warrior three. 
Extend your arms out in a steeple grip. So our warrior three is a balancing stick. Now pull your arms behind your ears, lift your tailbone, lift your back heel. Inhale, rise up into a crescent lunge. Ah. Exhale, back on the cactus pose. And so you're still in that crescent. I want you to press your pelvis forward, and especially your left hip. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, revolve, hinge forward, and place your elbow onto the fire outer thigh. Push up with your bottom hand. Always an option to drop your back knee. Now gently pull your left hip forward wherever you are. You can look down, you can look up, anywhere in between. Inhale, fly your arms. And instead of trying to touch the mat, I want you to lift your heart and touch the sky, really pushing that back heel away. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands down. Flatten your back foot to your mat. Inhale, warrior one, rise on up. Exhale, warrior two, and go ah. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extend your angle, left arm all the way over. Now press into the outer edge of your back foot. And then extend your right arm out. Anchor your shoulders down as you lift your heart space. Inhale, rise up into a star. So I want your toes to face straight ahead. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. Shift your weight into it and pull your left knee up once again. Now extend that leg out, but also hinge like you're coming into a half moon pose. Ah, pull your arms in by your ears and lift that back leg even higher. Inhale, into a stop. Exhale, gosh, you gotta let that go. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, warrior two, the back and up. Inhale, reverse your warrior all the way up and back. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Taking your time as you flow through your breath. Flow with your breath, excuse me. Exhale, as you melt back. Ah. Pull your chest to your thighs. Inhale, high in the ball speed, bend the knees, look ahead. Exhale, make your way to the top. Inhale, halfway in it. Exhale, Uttanasana, four fold. Inhale, ooh, chair pose. Exhale, lift your front knee. Ah. Now open that knee all the way up to the side. Firm up your left leg and lift your knee. Let the shoulders glide on down. Now kick that leg out to the side. Press the heel as much as you can. And then slowly sweep it around behind you. Bring your hands to the steeple grip. So our working three is balancing stick. Press your arms and your ears. Lift your tail and lift your back heel. And slowly release the ball foot down. Inhale into your crescent high lunge. So bring your front knee forward, let your tailbone drop. Exhale, go post and find a deep back bend. So squeeze your shoulders, open your heart space, feeling your back heel push. Inhale, rise on up. Exhale, revolve, slow hinge, so a lot of core strength here. Moving with your breath, elbow onto the fire, outer thigh, pushing up with the bottom hand. Now you have every option to drop your back knee. And the cues work no matter what. So keep pushing up with the bottom hand and bring your right hip forward. Look down, look over, look up, anywhere in between. Now inhale, fly your arms. And instead of touching the mat, I want you to open your heart and touch the sky. If your leg is long, push your knee away. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release your hands down, bring your foot, and flatten that back foot down to the ground. Ah. Inhale, crescent lunge. Crescent lunge. Warrior one, rise on up. Exhale, warrior two, open it wide. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, extend your angle, arm over your ear. Now anchor your shoulder down and really press into the outer edge of your back foot. Then extend your left arm up and just bring your ears. Let the shoulder blades slide down as you open your heart space. Using your low belly, inhale, rise up into your star. Now exhale, bend that left knee. Shift your weight into it, and slowly pull your right knee up. Find that single leg at Tadasana. Shoulders down, let your left leg go long. Now open that knee up once again. 
Extend your leg out, push the heel, and then start to hinge. So those toes will turn forward. So you're moving into a half moon pose, really balancing it out here. Keep the shoulders gliding down, lift that back leg higher. Inhale, come into your stop. Exhale, goddess, release and let it go. Inhale, lift up. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, pull through. Inhale, reach it hop. Exhale, warrior two, the front of your mat. Ah. Inhale, reverse your warrior all the way up and back. Exhale, shatter on the big one, and just flow right along with your breath. Auto exhale as you mount back. Ah. Take a moment, bend your knees, move the hips, move the shoulders. Inhale, find your plank pose. Drop your shoulders as you tuck your tailbone. Look ahead. Feel your energy. Push them out of your with every fiber, every aspect of your being. So you can feel your belly engage. Your core, core is nice and strong. Exhale, lower yourself down, elbows by your side. Nose, chin, chest, and then the belly comes on down. Flatten your feet. Keep them open, hip distance apart. Hug your elbows in by your side. Now press the tops of the feet into the mat to your knees. Lift and inhale. Lift up into that baby cobra. Draw your shoulders down your back. Kind of peel them open. Exhale. Bring it down. Push down into the tops of the feet and inhale into that baby cobra. Who's your asana? Now lift your palms. Draw your elbows back. Inhale. Extend your arms forward. Let your chest fall. Just a tiny bit. Exhale. Draw your elbows back and lift. Pulling your heart forward. Inhale, extend your arms, let your chest fall just a touch. And then inhale, feel that now. Squeeze your shoulders down your back. Sweep your hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Press up with the forearms and then lift your legs. Fly your locust pose. You can stay here, you can take it even deeper, bend your knees. Reach them out to the tops of the feet and find yourself in four bow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release it all the way down. Ah. With your hands on your chin, you can wiggle your hips. Maybe you push back into a child's pose. I know that only feels good to me. <sighs> Take a moment, rock, sway. Just breathe into the lumbar spine. Inhale, bring it all the way forward. Exhale, lower yourself down once again. Extend your left arm. Palm down, right hand on your shoulder. Press the left foot into the mat and bend your right knee. Bear down into the right palm and flip yourself over. So you're making a pillow with your left arm. And take your right leg all the way behind you. Maybe it's just the toes, maybe you can flatten the foot. Slide your right hand towards your chest or take it all the way around. Work your hand under the hip crease. And then press the small of your back into your forearm. And press your forearm into the small of the back so you have that support. Just to take you a little bit deeper into the pose. Breathe it in. Exhale, release your hand back down to the shoulder and come onto your belly. Hands under your chin, just wiggle the hips up and down. Then extend your right arm out with the palm to the ground, left hand on your shoulder. Press your right foot into the mat, top of the foot in the mat as you bend your left knee. And then flip yourself over. Maybe the toes touch the mat, maybe the foot is nice and flat. Now slide your left hand towards you. Stay here, take that arm all the way behind you. Work your hand underneath your wrists. And then press the small back into your forearms. But instead of sinking, press your forearm right back into it so you're open. Nice and supported. Just creating that space along the shoulders, the hips. Ah, sweet reward, right? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come on back to your belly with your hands on your chin. Wiggle the hips. Place your hands on your shoulders, push yourself up into a tabletop, and then have a seat on either hip. Spiral yourself around, place your feet on the mat, hip distance apart, and scoot yourself forward. Extend your arms and just roll yourself all the way down. Uh, bring your arms by your side and open your feet out to the edges of your mat. Slowly bring your thighs and your knees together. Drop your chin, let your spine elongate. 
Just kind of relax, relax your brow, your jaw, your shoulders. Just pausing here for a moment to let the lower back decompress. And then open your knees wide and start to tick tock side to side. Nice and easy, no big deal. And when you're ready, both knees drop to the right and bring them all the way down. Bring your arms into a boat pose position and press your thighs into the mat. Now you can hang out right here. Me personally, I like to lift my right foot up and place it on my left thigh. But a lot of times I still need more. So if that's you, walk you your left foot off the mat. So it's a kind of a twisted um, figure four stretch here. So we're stretching the low back, the hips, the IT band, but also your hip flexors, your psoas, your inner thigh, your groin, all those good and juicy places. Try to soften your body. Now release that right foot back to mat. And slowly bring your knees back to center, adjust your feet. Slowly drop your thighs to knees to touch and lower your chin ever so slightly. Let your spine unravel underneath you, kind of sink down into the ground. Once again, letting the spine reset. And then open your knees and start to tick tock side to side. Just a few times. Whenever you're ready, drop both knees over to the left. Press your thighs to the mat. And if you did so on the other side, lift your left foot up and place it on your right thigh and just use that extra weight down to sink down. Feel free to walk your right foot off the mat. See if that takes you a little deeper. And then just let your body soften. I love doing this pose in goal pose position. Because it also creates space across our hips and shoulders. And if your shoulders are wound up, guess what? You're never going to be able to release your hips. Everything's tied together. Inhale, slowly make your way back to center. Plant your left foot down. Ah, adjust your tailbone and then drop your thighs and your knees together. One last time. Bring your arms by your side. Shrug your shoulders down your back and now slide your heels towards your fingertips so the knees are open. Inhale into a nice and easy bridge. Interlace your fingers, press your palms and work your shoulders under your chest. Press your forearms, the pinky edge of your hands in the mat just so you can find more extension, more lift. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, release and roll it down. Tailbone touches, happy baby. However you choose to be, inner or outer arches, let your body rock or sway. Today I just want to stay still. Wherever you are, go push down on the arches, push up with the heels. Then drop your chin and see if you can bring your shoulders, your hips, your tailbone to the ground. Even as you sway, try to keep that compression. Stay here as long as you need. And whenever you're ready, you just transition right into your Shavasana or any pose you need to do first. Remember, it's your practice. And you know your body better than anyone. But when you're ready, extend your arms, extend your legs. And with your palms to the sky, let your fingers, your toes curl, and just relax. Kind of melt down into your mat. I want you to take a moment and just connect with your breath. Letting your body know it's safe to unwind. And then let the breath go.
Please stay in your Shavasana as long as you can. Three, five, ten minutes, as long as you can. But if you're with me, take your arms out your ears, stretch your legs out long. Create that connection with your breath, your body once again as you wiggle and move. Circle your arms around, knees towards you. Give yourself a hug. Rock up and have a seat. Sit however makes you happy. Bringing your hands to your heart space. I want you to close your eyes. Let your tailbone and your pelvis drop into the mat so you're really rooted into the ground. And then lean back with your chest. And feel your heart open wider, not just the front of your heart, but the back of your heart. Reminding yourself that the front of your heart is where you send your love out, and that feels so good, right? But the back of the heart is where you receive. So let that open wide. And I want you to send love out of your heart to everyone, but also to yourself. And as we all continue to make that circle of energy, remind yourself, if you the back of the heart wasn't open, you couldn't receive. And the more we open ourselves up, the more we can send out. And the higher and higher we all live with our energy, our vibration, our power, and our strength. And now take a nice, slow, deep breath in. Open your mouth, exhale, let it out, let it go. Ah, blink your eyes open. And it's from my heart to yours that the highest in me sees, honors, respects, loves, believes in the highest in you, the highest in each and every one of us, because it truly resides inside of us all. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat, for bringing your energy and connection with mine. It lifts me up more than you ever know, and I hope I do the same for you. So until I see you on your mat once again, have an amazing day. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone.